Hi there. Let's talk today about how to work with your brand new presets and brushes for your portrait bundle. Portraits are really great to do when you have especially these amazing brushes to work with because they allow you to really get into the details, specifically in the face, and fine tune your portraits. You know, it's all about the eyes and portraits, and with brushes like the ones in this bundle, you're able to get in and really make those portraits pop. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about how to work with these presets and brushes so you can make the most out of it and really um, customize each photo. Here we have a before and after, and this one was done using the Crisp Dawn preset, which is one of the all-in-one presets. And it's right up here towards the very top, right up here. And of course, we did a little fine-tuning. You can see his face is nice and sharp and bright. Those eyes really pop. Two other quick examples. Here's one using the grayscale matte preset. This is a really great classic look, something that you would see on people's wall hanging in their home. And the Love Bug is a nice matte finish, but in color. Again, very classic feel, a little bit of a film look to it. And again, that face and those eyes are nice and sharp and they really pop. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this photo. And we're going to do some editing. Let me go ahead and crop dad's hand out of there. So we're all set to go with that. Okay, there we go. So this is the original photo with no presets applied. So let's go ahead and play with it a little bit and we can look at what sort of variations and modifications you can do because you can really do a lot with these. Now to start out, I do want to let you know that you ideally want to pick a preset either from the all-in-one or the base section you wouldn't necessarily want to layer those because you're going to be canceling out a lot of the effects of whatever the first one is you applied. If you start with an all-in-one preset, then you apply a base, you're canceling out a fair amount of the effects. So it doesn't really benefit you in any way when you're doing your editing. So we're going to start with one of these presets. Let's go for, and you'll notice that up here at the very top, in the navigator screen we have the preview so if I hover over the preset for a couple seconds it will show me what that preset looks like for it which is a really great feature and we're gonna go for something a little more classic so let's do the high key this looks like it might be a good base to work with there we go very classic base and let's see what we can do with this. So we'll start adding on some layers of presets onto it. So regardless of whether you start with the all-in-one or the base, you can always apply these other layers of presets onto it to modify. The all-in-one presets are just intended to bring you as close as possible to a complete finished, fully edited photo, but every photo is going to be unique. So regardless of which preset you start out with, you're going to want to look at, especially the white balance and the exposure, are going to be things that you want to manually adjust in each photo. But the bases are really meant to be just that, a base for all the other layering. So they really do require more layers. So let's go to the exposure section and I do want to brighten this photo a bit. Okay. And I see a few bright highlight spots, but I'm going to adjust that later with a brush. So I'm not going to worry about that just yet. And the colors, I actually I'm happy with how the coloring is in this one. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is. Just to give you an idea of the effects though, if I felt his skin was a little too green, I can use the Fix Green Skin preset and it adds that touch of red onto it. And on the flip side, if I feel his skin is a little too red, I can click the Fix Red Skin and you see it's got more of that green tint to it. So I'm going to undo that because I was happy with how it was to begin with. So I'm going to go down to the tone and tint and 
let's see about warming it up. That's almost a bit too much, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that one out. And I'm going to jump right to the polish, but you can see that you can click on these presets and if you have any reservation you can undo them. I'm going to do the color pop. Let's take a look at how that looks. That's nice and bright. And I'm going to sharpen. And then we could do a vignette. We have some options here. However, I'm going to go ahead and undo those. I like it without the vignette, so we're going to go ahead and leave that out for now. So this is a photo that, on its own, as is, could be beautiful, could be sent to a client, but, you know, I look at it and I think, let's see what else we can do with it. So we're going to play with some of these brushes, and the brushes that you load into Lightroom from this set are going to be available to you under both the adjustment brush and the graduated filter. So you can see the same pull down menu is going to be available for both. Same brushes. So I'm going to work on his face. I really want to make his face pop a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and Let's see, I'm going to sharpen the face. There it is. Okay. Make that brush bigger. And I wanted to point out also we have the flow slider here. When you apply a brush, you're able to control the intensity with which that effect is applied. So if the flow, which is typically at 100, if you leave it at 100, that brush will be applied with the full effect that it was created in. If you reduce the flow, and you can reduce it to 50, 70 something, you know, this is 50%, 75%, whatever you want to set it to, when you lower it, the effect gets lower. It's a much more subtle effect. So what this allows you to do is if you want to do a really soft brush, say you want to do a really soft brush over his face to sharpen because you're not quite sure you want to go very extreme. You don't want to do anything noticeably different. Very subtle changes. You can lower the flow and if you want to keep layering brushes you can keep applying multiples of that brush at that low flow until you get the desired effect. So that's a really great way to control the use of these brushes. So I have it set to 60. I'm going to put it a little bit higher and sharpen that face. And you can see it's a nice little subtle effect. And then I mentioned a few bright spots earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce highlights and Again, subtle effect, and I'm seeing a fair amount of highlights right around here that I just kind of want to soften. So we do that. Okay, so I'm happy with that, and now let's work on his eyes, because with portraits, it's all about the eyes, right? So we're going to go to enhance those beautiful blue eyes that he has. And I'm going to put the effect at 100. And we're going to just brush that right over the blue in his eyes. Now it's not a very dramatic effect, but it will make a difference. And we'll take a look at the before and after at the very end. <laughs> the other one I'd like to apply is to enhance the catch lights. This is a really fun one, but this one, it's a bit of a strong brush. So with children especially, I like to do it at a lower flow. So we're going to do, there we go. And I'm going to click Done. I feel like this might be good to go. So I'm really happy with that. You can see his face is really nice and sharp. His eyes pop. Let's look at the before and after. And there is your dramatic change. With applying several presets and three to five brushes over the face, you can have this really dramatic edit this really drastic change that still looks natural and flattering. And there you go. So I hope this was a helpful 
tutorial for you and that you are able to use the presets and brushes to the fullest extent of their use. Have fun!